let's now look at the having clause where we can use it to filter results from a group by as we see listed here and in this case obviously because we are trying to filter the results from the group by it's going to be in a sequence after the group by clause is written in the query and this is different than the where clause which also works as a filter but it is present before the group by clause inside of a query let's look at the query now here we have the table player stats it has three columns one the first column is last name then we have opponent id and then we have the points scored so if we write a query where we are grouping over the last name which is this column and then we are trying to use the having clause with a condition that the sum of the points scored should be greater than five only those values should uh, only those records should appear in the output so what we have then here is for Adams, if we group by on last name, we have Adams appearing here and here. And in each of these, the points for Adams was three in the first case, and then we have the points as four. So the sum of three plus four in this case for Adams is seven. And seven is greater than five. And therefore it would appear in the output. Next, we have Buchanan. If you look at Buchanan, the occurrence is again twice. We do have two occurrences, and the point scores are 0 plus 13. So let's write Buchanan, and the point score scored are 0 plus 13, that is 13, and it again is greater than 5. So this record would also be there in the output. However, if you look at Coolidge, which is this one, there is only one instance of it and the point scored is below 5, it's just one. So we can write that here. Coolidge, we, we have just one occurrence and one is, uh, one is not greater than 5, it is less than 5. And therefore what we have is that this particular value is not going to be in the output. And when we run this query, so let's run this query. Uh, let's keep the uh, the text here, and while that is there, we can run the query. Uh, okay. So like so. Well, I select from here up to here. Run this, and what we should see in the output is just two rows we have adams and buchan so those are the only two uh, uh, records that we see in the output as expected next what we can also do is uh, we can uh, we can also use uh, alias for the aggregated column in the having condition for example uh, here let's comment this out first what we have here is the sum point scored as PS, and we can use this abbreviation PS inside of the having clause as a condition. So PS greater than uh, five, only those records should appear in the output. And so when we run this, we should get the same output as we did before, where we just had two records, Adams and Buchanan, which had a total score of greater than five which we see it down here next let's look at another variation of uh, using a having clause where in this case what we have is we have the last name then we have the average point scored as average score however in the having clause we are using a completely different condition that we are not we have not listed in the select clause so that is also allowed and when we run this then what will happen is we'll get output column last name we'll get the average values of the point scored in the column named average score and the results are going to be filtered based on not the average of the score but 
the sum of points scored greater than five uh, because that is what is listed here in the having clause and when we run this query we should see the output that we have we get the average score column and the results are filtered based on the group by where the condition was that the sum of points scored was greater than five so that was how the having clause works if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you